Happy Memorial Day. Yep. Put a little lipstick on. I wasn't watching. So it's lucky I didn't have it all over my face. Well, I want to say um, Happy Memorial Day to all of those that uh, gave their lives so that we have a, a free country. Also, um, I like to remember my brother, Sam. He served in the Vietnam War. And um, my brother, uh, Sam, is no longer with us. But my brother, Michael, was in the Army for I don't know, a couple of years. So um, we have members of my family that have served in the service. Um, so yeah, so I'm remembering everybody today, everybody. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. Here we go. Now I've got my webcam up a little high today and I'm filming on a different, um, on a Chromebook, which uh, took me a while to figure out, Dina, Thank you so very, very much. So I would like to start first. Well, I got a little happy mail on Saturday. And it's from my buddy, uh, Chiquita. Chiquita. Deborah. Her name is Deborah. She's from California. And you know her as Chiquita's Crochet. So she sent some hats. Let me just. Wait till you see this hat. These hats. Excuse my hair. I can't find my brush. I usually just finger comb my hair. But anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? Okay. Here's a card. Look what she put on here. It's supposed to, oops, whoops. supposed to glow in the dark. Oops, whoops. It doesn't matter. Oops, oops. Here we go. It's a little owl. It's supposed to glow in the dark. Why oh, is a cute little card? And it says, thank you. Whoops. I didn't see this. Goodbye. Post, it's a postcard. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It's got all kinds of little stickers on there. Look at that. Oh, and this one, I did this. It's a scratch and sniff. And I scratch it and I sniffed it. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Thank you for signing up for the encouragement pen pal which i haven't i got i got a card from my pen pal but i haven't responded yet i hope you don't mind me writing to you also <laughs> thank you for the shout out oh so there are 12 people paired up i wish there were more that's okay hope you're doing well um even thought i've seen i've seen you okay some days and some are not well i'm praying for you hugs billy your friend deborah Chiquita, Chiquita Crochet. Check her out. Chiquita Crochet. She's a real sweet lady. Real sweet lady. We have a little thing on Facebook if you want to join. I don't know much about it, but uh, two or three people can get on and we, we crocheted together one night. Well, first of all, let me show you this. This is, it's purple. I mean, dark purple. And it's beautiful. It's like um, a can. You know, like a, let's see. Hey, if I, it, this is a little small for me, but it'd be like if I was going to France. <laughs> oh, bonjour, um, bonjour, bonjour. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. But this fits me perfect. Bonjour. Love this. Isn't it cute? Cute, 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 but it's dark purple. Eat your hat, eat your heart out, Rosie. Rose, because that is purple. I mean, it's a beautiful purple. It's a purple, purple. That's why it's showing up so dark blue. But Rose, like crochet, will would love that. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Now wait till you see this. It's the cutest thing. She showed, she was making this or showed it to me the other day. Look at this. Isn't this cute? Now the hat, I guess, because I'm like, look at this. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Look. Look at this. And you put this on. 
look at this. I'm all ready, honey. I am all ready. Look at that. I'm ready. I feel like I'm getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, isn't this cute? Aren't you envious that I have this on? <laughs> isn't this cute? I just love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. That will go in with the hats. And it, this is just so cute. Did you guys see that? Look at how she did that. It looks like, you know, it's a uh, uh, front pose, a couple of single crochets. And then she did the, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. She did the ruffle around it. Oh, honey, that is so cute. Chiquita, you outdid yourself, baby. That is so cute. Ugh, if I lived up north, I'd take that one. I'd take both, all three, all of them. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. That was so much fun. <laughs> okay. All righty. Well, let me show you what I've been working on. <clears throat> I've been quite busy. Um, I'm, I got two things in the living room. One was the top. I'm progressing along on that. And also the cowl. I'm progressing along on that. Um, so now that's all in the living room. I wasn't thinking when I came in. But anyway, it's, it's moving along. Um, I, whenever I sit down and watch a little TV, I keep it in my living room so that I can pick it up and it's something that I can work on real quick, quick light. Right. Okay. Okay. So we got the mail out of the way. Now, let me show you some of the things I've made. I've been doing a lot of sewing. I made another of the gingham with the red. Made, I've got two of these now, if anyone's interested. Um, this bag I showed you, well, that's sold. I got to get, put that in the bag to, to mail. And I made a couple more. Made this one. It's a little longer. And then I put, I took some of the used, uh, leftover scraps. Oops. And I put a little, you can either use it as an armband or, I mean, to carry it with. Or whatever it's just something i thought of and i did it <laughs> when i was making it so i made this one i love this material oh i got enough that i can make a couple more big ones i'm gonna make a couple big ones <laughs> and i made another one with a long one well this is not as long as the other one but yeah and i put a little band on it also so I made two, two of those. Okay. And that other one, you this one you've already seen. That's the uh, zigzag one. So I made those. Oh, and these, let's see, that one I lined in red. Let me see. Wait a minute. Did I do this one in green? I did. I did this one in green. I lined this one in green. I got my pink and shears and boy, does that save a lot of time when you're sewing these a lot of time. I love my pink and shears. They're heavy, but I wanted them heavy because I don't know what I'd be working with, you know. So I have two of these and that other one. And uh, I know I need to get this one is gone. I got to get that packed up. Okay. Whew, I got that done. Now, let me show you what else I've been doing. Well, this was, oh, let me reach up and grab. This was um, Cheryl's idea. And they're called envelope pillowcases. And the, remember the fabric I got, the Christmas fabric that I got? Well, I made one or two. I made this one. Uh, the pillows that I have put in here aren't the right size, but I just stuffed it in there anyway. So I could see how it looks. And it's where you could just take it off. And that's an old pillow. So I use, I made two, one, this is like a 16 inch. <clears throat> and this is an 18 inch. And this, I put the thing at the top. I don't think I'm leaving enough material, but I guess if you had the right size pillow, you, you have. So I made a couple of those 
and then I use this um, this fabric because it makes a better one. See the zigzag. You saw that. So that's a, another one that I made. And this one, the envelope is a lot deeper. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know what happened. But anyway. So I made these. Yes, I'm going to make some more. So if anyone's interested in the, I'm going to use that Christmas um, material. And uh, it's then it's cotton, so it's washable. So you could put it on at Christmas time on your pillows and throw them all over the house wherever you want. But um, this this fabric, of course, was the fabric like for drapes and stuff, uh, whatever. But anyway, it's just this one was easier to make than the thin ones. Oops, I noticed a little tear there. I guess that's my fault from trying to put it on, but. Anyway, then I was having a little problem with my sewing machine, the tension on it. It, it seems like on, the, uh, uh, on this material, it did fine. But when I went to the thinner cotton, I couldn't get the, let's see, this one. I, the, I just couldn't get it right. It just, it was gathering, then it was too tight. Then I loosened it, and then it went. But anyway, <coughs> it's together. That's that's for sure. It's together. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't bring anything to drink. <clears throat> so I, um, anyway. So I got some more of this material. I'm going to make some more of these. So I did that. And then last night, the old creative boom, boom, boom hit me. And I stayed up all night till like five o'clock in the morning because I had to finish her. Now this is this is for Deborah, Deborah in Ohio. She wanted a Billy doll, and here she is. She's got her moo moo on, and she's got a little bow in her hair, and she's got. These are the earrings that were sent to me. And what I did was I took the, the backing and um, it was a straight backing, you know, straight pierced through backing. And I looped it and put it on some um, uh, earring things. And I got myself some little earrings. And this is her little um, her little bracelet. It's a, it's a bracelet that she can take off and wear if she wants to. And here she is. She's all duded up. And this is the uh, ribbon that someone sent me. And I tacked it together because I like that layer look on her. It makes me look a little thinner. <laughs> Do anything to make me look a little thinner, huh? Let me click that little bit off. Um, it just so happened this Simply Soft is is the uh, yarn I use for the hair, but it came out so curly and I love it because that's my hair's curly. But anyway, I just love the way it, it, it came up and I made a little bow and stuck it in her hair because I used to always wear something in my hair, but I just think it adds a little bit of something to her. But yeah, there she is. Deborah, that's your new, your new doll. And now that I've showed it, I will wrap it up and get it in the mail to you. I'll go to the mailbox tomorrow and mail these few things that I have already made for people. So, yeah, there she is. She's all yours. No glasses. I didn't get the Dollar Tree to get the piping, but, you know, it's probably better without the glasses anyway. Yeah, I only use them to see with, so, you know, I won't have any problems here. But I think she's real cute. So this is uh, for Deborah. I hope you like her, Deborah. She's she's a cutie. I hope you watch it so you can see it. But there she is. She'll be coming in the mail. And then, you know, I made. Um, so let's put that over there. So that's going to go in the mail. Um, Judy at Witch Piece Crochet is that the name of her? I think that's it. Let me see. I want to get it right. Look, I. I have the have to write down the address in here for the ones that I I sent. Judy, Judy, Judy. 
Well, where's her address? Um, well, I guess it's not in this book. It should be in this book. This is my book that I keep all my orders on so that I don't go crazy. Well, I don't, I don't see it. Okay. Anyway, I think it's Judy P. Switch, uh, which, which piece? crochet something like that anyway she got her doll and i made it um you saw it the one that it was a picture that she sent me of an australian um pod uh a tv guy that does gardening and stuff well i was just so surprised how <laughs> she just loved it she loved it it just made my heart sing i'll tell you it really did and i'm so glad that uh she liked what i sent her um, so on the crochet stuff, oh, you know, the, um, the beach cover up that I was making for my sister, the white one. Well, all of a sudden I'm just, I mean, I was crocheting a lot. I, I had already done like one, two, three, I was up to like the fourth pattern of it, which is like five rows. And I looked and it was getting wider and wider. I'm thinking, what in the world's going on? And I looked and I had like a size six um hook in my hand so i knew something was wrong it just wasn't doing right so i looked and i was supposed to have like a g or something so i had to rip the whole thing out up to the point which was after the first pattern i'm going to have to start writing right on each one of the um skeins of yarn the size crochet needle I, that's the only way I can think to, to, to remember it. So I, I had to rip the whole thing out. I mean, you just, I was so upset at myself. And so I'm right back. So I'm right back where I was. I had to rip the whole thing out up to this point. So now I could get the right needles and, and uh, start working on that again. So I've been working on the top for myself. And then I was working on, um, the top and also the cow, which I've on the I'm on the second um, woven part of that. So really, that's it. I just you know wanted to come on and show you what I've accomplished so far this weekend, and uh, that way I could put things away. And uh, if anybody's interested in any of these uh, these other, I I'm going to make some more uh, bowl cozies. I'm going to do that today. Uh, I've gotten stuff cut out, so all I need to do is just to sew them together. <clears throat> and that could be another reason why the machine's not working. It's so used to working with that thick, you know, with the pat, uh, with the um, padding and the fabric and everything. <clears throat> it's kind of thick, so I don't know. So I've um, been looking and um, looking at some machines. I'm going to have to get me a new machine, I think, if I want to make some nice stuff because the, the um, you know, it's just not threading through right. And I just, it just upsets me when it does that. I hate it. You wouldn't believe how many times I tore out one of those on the side because it kept gathering up and then it kept skipping. And then it, it was just, I, every way I tried, I even do it on samples. And when I thought I had it and then I stuck the fabric in and then it just went bananas so it was just driving me bananas <clears throat> you have to excuse me the allergies are so bad <clears throat> i can't seem to <clears throat> clear my throat i got a frog in my throat <laughs> and it's not one that cheryl made either <laughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> okay i'm getting it cleared so anyway, so that's it. That's all I've got for today. I just uh, wanted to come on and make a quickie. Um, I've just been working this weekend. <clears throat> I know I should be doing other things, but it didn't feel like it. <laughs> I tell you, uh, Friday, uh, was it Friday? Yeah, Friday, the doctors and in the heat all day. It just, whew, it knocked me for a loop. I was tired. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I better go because I can't seem to get this frog out of my throat. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Um, 
no more ma no mail today so we don't have to worry about mail <clears throat> until tomorrow <clears throat> so i'm going to get to work i wasted all day sleeping i slept almost noon <laughs> yeah me and rosie i woke up and uh, i knew since i went to bed at five that it would be uh, the light would come through so i put my i have a little you know one of those little um blinder things that you put on so i put that on <clears throat> so when i woke up this morning I, I looked through the bottom and there's rosie peeking at me <laughs> she's so cute she's peeking at me like mommy get up i'm hungry so i got up <clears throat> And I got my yarn sort of straightened out. I got it. I got my shelf full over here. And I got some in a new tote that I had that I was empty. Thank God. I put it in that. So, um, yeah. So, uh, and as I was putting the yarn away, I went, oh, my God. Oh, my. oh, I did get, where is it? I did get the yarn to, um, I got that Saturday for doing my, uh, my sister's, uh, grandbabies, uh, to the twins. <clears throat> where did I put it? I don't even see it. I don't, now I put it away. I don't know where it is. Isn't that terrible? Losing my mind. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. But otherwise, we keep on hooking, right? All right, I'll see you guys. Have a great day. Have a nice picnic with your, with your family and enjoy it, the weather here is just so hot. <clears throat> I better go because this frog just is, <clears throat> it's making new frogs. <laughs> My frog is making new frogs. I'm so frogged out. <laughs> I love that. I'm so frogged out. <clears throat> okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.